Saturday morning, April the 13th, up to Ennisville Beach Park, where there's lots of ice. Not very good ice, but the whole bay is covered. The whole lake is covered. Ice is covering the whole lake at this point. Saturday morning. Government dock at Tyburn. Lots of ice here still. Lake Simcoe Marina. Val Ewart. Tons of ice still here on Cook's Bay. Up in front of Monorino Marina now. Getting close to 12 o'clock. Overlooking Cook's Bay, where there's tons of open water. But still, lots of ice out on the bay itself. Now up to Contiki Arena, overlooking Cook's Bay. Here at Shore Acres Drive. You see there's lots of open water. Still plenty of ice here on Cook's Bay. Not very good ice. It's being moved by the wind. It will disappear very shortly, we hope. Saturday, Cook's Bay. That's the location of where the ice sculptures were here on Cook's Bay, under the palm trees. You see the ice is moving out. From Guilford Beach, Guilford, just around 1.30 Saturday afternoon now. A lot of open water here at Guilford Beach. Here at Guilford Beach, Guilford, we see there's a lot of ducks, seagulls out in the bay. From Guilford Beach, Guilford, the Blue Ice Report. Now around 1.30 Saturday afternoon, and we see there's lots of open water here on Cook's Bay. The wind is moving the ice back and forth, so hopefully it will be gone shortly. Guilford Beach, Guilford, Saturday afternoon, overlooking Cook's Bay. See, there's lots of open water here today. The ice is moving around. Lots of seagulls and ducks and Canada geese in the water. Looking down to the Holland River. Lots of open water. So now just about four o'clock Saturday afternoon and you can see how much has changed here. A lot of ice has disappeared in the last few hours off of Cook's Bay. Look at the far side. There's open water on the far side as well. Four o'clock Saturday afternoon. Cooks Bay. Are you going to Aurelia's annual Perch Derby Festival? The annual Perch Derby. Aurelia's annual Purse Derby.